Hello, I'm here with Professor Kevin Black, who is a neuropsychiatrist, and I'm going to ask him some questions that have been put to us by patients uh, with Tourette syndrome. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Um, one of the questions we get asked is, is there any way of predicting if a child will grow out of Tourette syndrome? And I wondered if you could yeah. talk about that. I think that's an exceptionally important question. <clears throat> um, it's something that we're trying to study in my own lab right now. Um, you can look it up at newtix.info. But uh, the, the short answer is we don't have very good ways right now of predicting, which is in some ways a good thing. In other words, even if your child happens to have very severe tics, it's still possible that they might do just fine and you know have it have very few ticks as adults. Um, there are a couple of hints that we have from, um, from follow-up studies, and they include things like that uh, children with uh, ADHD may do worse or may be more likely to continue to have ticks as they grow up. Um, there's a test of manual coordination that children who do worse on that seem to do a little worse uh, clinically over the years. Um, so there are a few of these hints, um, and uh, the real truth is that none of them is good enough to be confident, oh, I see, I know the answer for right now. So, so that's something that we and others are very interested in trying to find out more about. You know, is there something about the size or shape of parts of your brain that would predict who's going to do better, something about um, how well you can suppress ticks right at the moment that would predict. Um, so we don't really know enough to be very useful, um, but we're learning some things to try to uh, follow up on and see if we can't do better in the future. Thanks.